Hi and welcome to City Happenings, I'm Mayor David Black. Papillion held a site dedication for a new business coming to town. You'll see who it is and where it is. Not far from that site, there was a ribbon cutting in an area of town showing business revival. And the Sump Library offered interactive events on Wednesdays all summer long. We'll bring you to one of them. City Happenings for the week of September 10th is next. Thanks, Mayor Black. The city held a site dedication for a new restaurant whose operator is no stranger to the area. First time I came here was for the College World Series when I was 11. And the excitement that was created around that and how friendly and inviting everyone was then, it just stuck in my mind even as a kid. I, I came up here with my dad. I, that was the first trip. That was my first time on an airplane. I was 11 years old. And it was with my father. Um, to here. So it's kind of cool to date back that far and then once I found out that we were expanding to Omaha, what better place for me that I've been around Chick-fil-A my whole life to be able to share that with a new community and a new city that hasn't experienced Chick-fil-A as far as having the brand in your city. So it's extremely exciting for me to be able to bring a company that's so near and dear to my heart to all of you and I will do my absolute best to provide you guys with great food, great service, and a great experience every time you come to my restaurant. Welcome on behalf of the, uh, the all of the residents, the city council, and we do have some city council members here, Councilman Jaworski, Councilman Ingberg. Um, so official thank you, the staff, uh, department heads, uh, just officially welcome you. Um, there are a number of business, a small number of businesses that on a very regular basis, we get calls and say, this is a great place to live, but if you would only have this, it would be a little bit better. And I literally say there's only three or four businesses that are consistently in that conversation over a long period of time, and only one food operation, and it happens to be Chick-fil-A. And so we've heard about Chick-fil-A from the residents for a long time. As we look to see what we do from an economic development and how we go recruit and how we raise awareness, um, that plays a role. And so we spent quite a while trying to figure out how do we get Papillion on the radar of Chick-fil-A. And we had some proactive things where we tried to reach out. Don't know if any of them had an effect, which ones maybe were seen, but we spent a lot of effort on that. And what I really want to thank are citizens. We've had, we had a number of citizens who reached out to Chick-fil-A corporate specifically on their own to try to raise awareness, saying, you need to come here. We had residents come to City Hall to get materials on Papillion so they themselves could send it to Chick-fil-A headquarters because they wanted Chick-fil-A here. So you talk about an engaged community for economic development. This is an engaged community for economic development. So I just want to tell you thank you. A well-known area business held a ribbon cutting as this store moved to a new location in town. On behalf of the City of Papillion, I want to welcome you and your staff too. It's not a welcome, it's a reinvestment and we take that very serious and we're very thankful for that. Uh, we were talking in the parking lot, uh, Sarpy County is the roots of uh, scooters and uh, so you've been part of the community for a large number of years, you got a great product. I worked on my own for a couple of years and I'd actually office out of this scooters over here. So um, great, great product. We're glad you're part of the community and uh, with your reinvestment and, the, and what's gonna happen next door, you got a lot of years of success. So thank you very much. If you need anything from the city, reach out to us. All summer, Wednesdays have been an interactive day at Sump Library. This is Touch a Truck Day. We are very pleased with all the businesses that have shown interest and have asked can they come back next year already, so it looks like it's been a huge success. 200 plus kids, I think it's been great. Yeah, it's very nice. A lot of them only see the bad side of the cops, so uh, we can introduce ourselves and show them our vehicles and uh, they get to tromp around in there and sit in the back seat and the front seat and uh, it's just a good opportunity for them, I think. Well, you know what, it's, we want to support the community, so we'll do it anytime. And you're right, Tori, it is just an amazing event for the kids, for the parents, for the daycare providers that have brought kids today. We are thrilled that we've had this, this great a turnout on such a hot day. The big trucks, the big semis and all that. It's really nice, actually. You know, they always point to the trucks, and you can tell they want to get in them and touch them, and it's just a nice opportunity for them to learn a little more about them and climb in them and, you know, pull the cord to honk the horn, that kind of thing. So it's, yeah, it's a nice opportunity. It's, the kids love it. What does this event say about our library? 
Well, that's unique. It doesn't happen very often. <laughs> These are just books, you know, or programs indoors, and which is nice too. Um, but you know, something that allows them to kind of touch and feel and actually talk with some of the officials. That's really, you know, unique unique opportunity for them. For one resident, this event helps to make Papillion special. Papillion is the top one on the city living very easier. I like here very much. People are very friendly. Education is very good. This is the top of this world. There is lots of maintenance and development construction going on around the city. Please be aware of this while driving on our city streets and thank you for your attention and patience. There are lots of ways to stay up to date with what's happening in Papillion. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, or watch the YouTube channel. And of course, Information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more information about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.